So this is my 6 liter LS engine that I plan to uh, swap into a Cherokee. Um, just pulled it out of the, the big truck, 3 quarter ton Chevy. And it was running in there and uh, I'm in the process of making a standalone wiring harness, meaning it's not going to be actually officially integrated wiring into the Cherokee system, but it's just going to end up with a minimum amount of wires that I can plug in. So uh, I've gone through the harness, stripped out what I believe I don't need, and uh, connected up what I do need. So I got my battery here, and uh, positive down to the old uh, cable that runs to the to the starter, and here's the ground over here, and uh, I've got uh, this little alligator clip here is the continuous power to the PCM to the system. This yellow one here. That's my ignition switch. This purple one is the starter. And uh, my fuel system, because I'm going to want to run it for more than just a couple of seconds here. Um, my fuel system is connected. I've uh, got a truck intake here, but I'm going to switch that to a car intake later. Capped off the return line. Here's my fuel, fuel line all the way up to... That's my gas tank right there. Uh, shut off valve over here. And uh, my fuel pump is there's my fuel pump, shop air. So I can regulate this to uh, 60 psi, which is what the fuel system needs to run. And uh, then I'll open up the valve, pressurize the fuel system, connect my ignition, operate the starter, and it should work. Uh, the only Thing I'm not sure of is the throttle here is I drive by wire um, so far I've only got it to operate before I operate the starter so in other words I powered up throttle works fine I operate the starter and then the throttle no longer works now I don't know whether that's a PCM override or whatever until the engines running but so here we go first thing pressurize the system fuel regulator set to 60 Fire extinguisher handy. I got a bit of a leak, but that's above the fuel line up here. Okay, we'll turn the fuel on. No leaks anywhere in the fuel system. So it's got open exhaust, it's going to be noisy. And uh, connect the ignition up. There we go. There's my throttle. Works. Okay, I'll find out if that works. So I'm going to operate the starter and start it up. I'm going to put you on the tripod so you can watch from a distance. Okay, here we go. It's going to be noisy. Actually, uh, shut the fuel off at the valve here and it kept running. Um, I don't want to run it too long here because it's got no cooling system. So uh, it runs and the throttle works after it starts. So uh, I'm a happy boy.